The Fuji X100S is a great piece of technology. It's a marvelous camera, but I have five accessories that I use to make the shooting experience of the Fuji X100S a lot better for me. So this is my video on the top five accessories for the Fuji X100S. The first accessory is to make shooting with it a lot more comfortable physically, and that is by removing the camera strap that is included with the camera because I don't really find it to be that comfortable and instead replace it with a sling style strap. And what a sling style strap is a strap that goes around one shoulder and across your chest and back. So that removes the weight and the strain from your neck. It doesn't rub against your neck and makes shooting a lot easier. All you have to do to attach the black rapid strap, which I use, is you attach the fasten plate on the bottom and then you hook the strap via this carabiner style mount and then you lock it into place and from there you're pretty much secure. All you have to do is sling it around your shoulder and your chest and then you can shoot with it. You can pop it up and pull it down when you're not using it. The next accessory, these are actually two accessories and that is the hood and the filter. And filters degrade the quality of your image but I'm using it to protect the glass because I don't like using the included lens cap of the Fuji X100S. Because it's not a clip-on or snap-on cap, it's sort of a push-on cap which can fall easily. So the way you install the filter and the hood is you have to first of course remove the cap and then you unscrew this front plate in front of the lens and this is what is typically done to attach the adapter that is used to attach the hood and the filter. So then you take the adapter, which is included in the hood kit that you get, which you can get for about $9 on Amazon, and then you screw that one in place of the original one. And you'll want to put the original one back in the box just so that you don't lose it. From here, you can attach the filter normally because you couldn't have attached it without the adapter. So now you can just screw it into a place like you normally would. Make sure the filter is clean so that in the inside and make sure that the glass is clean in the inside so that all you have to do when you're cleaning is clean the outside. And then from here you can just snap on the hood in place. And there you have your hood and your filter installed and you don't need to worry about damaging the lens because you have some protection there. The next thing you want are some extra batteries. I use third party batteries and original batteries. There are pros and cons to both but the reason why you want to use extra batteries in the first place is because the battery life isn't that great with a Fuji X100S and the battery indicator isn't that great either. Sometimes it just drops to red without you know, giving you an additional warning. The last accessory that I recommend are some nice fast cards because Fuji cameras, although they're getting faster and faster, the X100S isn't the fastest camera out there in terms of reading and writing. So you'll want a nice fast card. If you use a slower card, you'll really see the buffer fill up and you'll have to wait before you can view images and that sort of stuff. So you'll want a nice fast card. So those are my recommended accessories for the Fuji X100S. I hope this helped you guys that are buying your X100S. And if you have an X100S or any other camera for that matter, I want you guys to leave your favorite accessory for your camera down below. I'm Nico of Camp Crunch and I'll see you guys in the next one.